comes Bailey. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Okay, Ruben. We changed places for my uh, Zoom meetings. Now we're doing it in my room, so Bub won't get in the way. There you go. That's perfect for you. You're yeah, in a special spot. <laughs> Look alive, Stephanie. <laughs> you hear me? Do what? Did you hear everything I was saying? No, no. Yeah. I just heard you say, Can you, did you hear me? <laughs> Bailey? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Bailey has a friend today. Her name is Molly. Is it, you said Molly? Yes. Hi, Molly. Say hi. It's not nice. Set up so they can see you. Just say hi. Yeah, I got, I got something for a uh, Christmas hey. gift, even though it isn't Christmas yet. Oh, yeah? What'd you get? A keyboard. Hey. Hi. Where's Grant at, Maggie? Gemma Gentry. Okay. Hi, Gemma and Gentry. Say hi. Say hi. Y'all have, Y'all have something to play Kahoot on it for in a little later. Oh no! Wait. Uh, be right back. Be right back. I, I'm gonna it's have to. Until the end, so. Uh, right yeah. yeah. Wait, all right, we're gonna just wait three more minutes for everybody to log on. So we have a couple more people. You also have to reset my time limit on there. I'm hungry too. I just had breakfast and I'm hungry. Did you guys watch the online service with your parents at all? No. I, I made these two watch it. No, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Who's on a fire tablet? Anybody know? That's me. That's you. That's, we have a fire tablet, but um, that's not our name on here. No, you're shy, but it's okay. They're nice people. You want to say hi? Oh, where's Brady? Yeah. Oh, I'm Brady. Brady. He's getting so Look at his yeah. Miss Nikki. There you yeah. go. Here it is. It's a Liza on here, but mine, I can't turn my camera on. It's not working. Oh, the button won't work? No. Huh. You have to do it. Um, you're 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 good. Good. Oh, you're good. Can I keep saying to, to turn my camera on. Are you if, if you know me, you know I'm still in my pajamas. Eliza, are you pressing yes when you when it says the camera thing? Yes, we are. Okay. Who's Anna? Can you can you see us at all, Eliza? I can see you guys. Okay. Well, I don't know. I muted everybody just so I can go ahead and talk and if you got to figure things out we'll 
we'll keep up, all right? So, um, cause I only got 40 minutes before it's going to kick us off. But anyways, so I'm Nikki. Hi. And we're so excited that you're here and we're, we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to try to have a lot of fun. I'm so glad to see you guys, even though we can't meet in person that we can still meet on here. And this month, does anybody remember what we are talking about? Raise your hand. If you remember what we're talking about. I see Gemma and Bailey. Why don't you guys unmute yourselves and tell me what we're talking about this month? Um, um, we're talking about gratitude. No, wait, that was... Um, you're right, you're right, you're right. right. I don't remember. Good job. We are talking about gratitude. And gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you, right? Yeah, Cody says otters, letting otters know you see how they've helped you. So it's important for us to show our gratitude to God and also our gratitude to other people. So one fun way that we've been doing it is, is by sharing our shout outs. You guys remember our shout outs? If you have a shout out that you want to, it's basically you go like this, I'm thankful for... I know we don't shout very loud, but um, there we go. Um, so if you have something you're thankful for, raise your hand. Bailey, can you unmute yourself and do a shout out? Mom's coming. Don't worry. She's going to help you. There you go. Do your shout out, Bailey. Put your hands up like this. Oh, she's thankful for her mom, right? So that's a good example. Maybe you want to give a shout out to your mom for always making your lunch. Whose moms make their lunch for them? That's a lot of hand. Why are you not raising your hand? Okay, maybe I make them dinner, not lunch. I say you're on your own for lunch, all right? So maybe you want to give a shout out for your mom for making your lunch, or maybe you want to give a shout out to your baseball coach for helping you be a better player. I know Colton plays baseball, right? So the person doesn't have to be here on Zoom for you to give, a, or in the room with you to give a shout out to, but if they are, that's great too. If you want to give a shout out, just raise your hand. I'm going to unmute you, and then you can unmute yourself. And then you just go, I'm thankful for, all right? So if you want to give a shout out, raise your hand. All right, Bailey Moore, unmute yourself. I'm thankful for my mom making lunch and dinner. There you go. She's thankful for food. And okay. helping me make breakfast. There. Yeah. There you go. Foods I guess I am thankful for lots of food. <laughs> All right, Rebecca, put your hands up. I'm thankful for my dad. For what's he doing for you? Help me with stuff. She's thankful for her dad helping her make stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody else have a shout out they want to do? Gemma, unmute yourself. My brother. She's thankful for her brother. Was there any specific way? Why? You just love him. Love him to pieces. All right, Molly, I see your hand up. Have Bailey unmute you again. Can you get it, Bailey? I'm going to go to Eliza real quick, and you have mom help you unmute you. Eliza, can you unmute yourself? Uh, well, I think well, I'm really thankful for my dog, but he's always there. Oh, yeah, I bet he's fun to cuddle with, and he's so cute, too. So, oh, Bailey's got, Bailey Moore's got another, oh, wait, Bailey Powell, you're unmuted. Molly, go. She's thankful for her dad. Woo! I love it. Okay, Bailey Moore. No, I have another one. Go for I'm it. I'm thankful for my dad playing my with me. And oh, other games. 
for we playing. We don't play a lot of video games together. That does sound like a lot of fun. All right, any more shout outs? Molly, are you thinking about it or you want, you want to do another one? All right, have Bailey unmute you again. There you go. Go for it, Molly. I'm thankful for my brother. She's thankful for her brother. All right, Gemma. We're going to make Gemma our last one, then we're going to move on. My dog for keeping me cozy. Great. Yep. Those dogs, they keep you warm and cozy. Um, good job, guys. So giving shout outs is a great way to show gratitude, right? So another way to let someone know you're grateful is by writing a thank you note. All right. So have you ever written a thank you note or maybe drawn a picture like for someone to show them thank you? I see Maggie's raised her hand. Bailey has. Rebecca has. All right. So the thank you note is my, oh, let me raise my arm. I know, so why don't we write a thank you note together? We can make it extra silly and give it to our storyteller, Michelle, right? And it's almost done. It'll give her a good laugh, right? So it's almost done, but I need your help to fill in the blanks. First, see, I just need a couple words to help fill in my blanks, right? So first, I need a couple verbs. Now, a verb is an action word like jumping, laughing, chewing. So any of you guys have any ideas for a verb? Gemma. Running. All right. And then I need another verb, Bailey Moore. Don't forget to unmute yourself. Jumping. All right. Those were great. So let me add a couple of them to our outs for Michelle. I did that. All right. So next I need a noun, which is a person, place, or a thing. Are you raising your hand? No, he's not. All right. Ba Bailey Powell. I need a perfect place or a thing. Something that names one of those. Let's ask for some help. Who do you want you to help you? Ruben? Uh, Becca. Becca, okay. Puddles. Okay, she says puddles like a... You were reading the note. Exactly. No, we're not going to use that. All right, Bailey Moore, help with a noun. Doctor. What? Doctor. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's not a proper noun. Right. Basically. You got uh, it. All yeah. right. Stop reading it, Becca. Stop. All right. The last type of word I need is an adjective. Adjectives are words that describe something like happy, bluish green, or ridiculous. It describes something. So, Gentry, I saw your hand up. You be Jibba? No, I thought I, I saw your hand up. No, Gentry. I don't have anything. Oh, you don't have anything, Maggie. If you shout it out or, oh, there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I need one more adjective, and then our notes done. That describes something. Bailey Powell, you gonna try one more? My daddy's farts is ridiculous. <laughs> Her daddy's farts are ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna be using ridiculous. All right. So are you guys ready to hear the finished note? And then I'm gonna share a picture to Michelle, our storyteller. Okay, listen up. It says, Michelle, thank you so much for running. You are always so good at jumping doctors. We are so beautiful and so ridiculous to know you. How fun is that? So let me get a picture of that. I'm gonna send that on over to Michelle right now so she can just be so excited that you guys wrote this awesome note to her. 
And that was a creative way to say thank you, right? So I know Michelle's gonna love it. And as she receives that, she's gonna come on over to the screen and she's gonna get us the story today. Everybody clap your hands for Michelle. All right, all right, we're gonna unmute her. I'd be Guys, I really, Miss Nikki really did send me your, your um, card here. And it says, thank you so much for running. I do that a lot. Uh, like a crazy person, I run, I tell the kids. No, you don't. You're always so good at jumping doctors. We do jump to doctors a lot with three kids. Uh, I like the beautiful. Whoever did beautiful and Maggie, ridiculous. Maggie, I like it. Maggie, ridiculous Maggie. probably is the best one Maggie, no, to describe Maggie, me. So. Thank you guys. You are awesome. I love getting notes. That's one of my favorite things. Um, and I'm so happy you all are here today. Can you hold this? Um, because I am sad that we're not there, but God says whether we're two or more are gathered that we can worship. And so that's what we're doing today. Um, oh, goodness. Um, so I've got a really cool story for you today. All right. That has to do with the celebration. And here's our, we have lots of celebrations in life that remind us of what's important. Um, we just had one Thanksgiving where we celebrated how thankful we were for what God's given us. Um, we have holidays that help us remember things God has done, like Christmas and Easter. There's another very celebration that happens in our churches all over the world, and it's called communion. Um, and communion is going to be different depending on what church you're at, but we usually... Um, the pastor or like Pastor Mike will bless what we call the bread and the, the juice. We call it wine, but it's usually juice. Um, and it's been a little different since we've been in quarantine, but most of the time you will come up and you will receive the bread and the juice. And um, when you do, we are thinking about Christ and what he did for us when he died on the cross for our sins. Um, and communion is a super cool way for us to celebrate Jesus and what he's done for us. And it helps us remember how thankful we are for him. Oh. And that's not all. There's so much more to the story of communion that we can discover when we look back at God's story in the Old Testament. You see, the night before Jesus died on the cross, he and his closest friends ate a special dinner called the Passover meal. And you might wonder, what's a Passover meal? Well, that's a good question because even as an adult, I wonder. God's people, the Israelites, had been celebrating Passover for a long, long time. It all began in Egypt, where the Israelites were forced to work as slaves for hundreds of years. God sent Moses to stand up to Pharaoh, who was like the king, and demanded freedom for the Israelites. Over and over, Pharaoh promised to let God's people go. But then every time he would change his mind, each time God sent a plague, a terrible warning, and so that Pharaoh would release the Israelites. But Pharaoh wouldn't listen. The tenth plague was the most terrible of all. The oldest son in every family would die, but God made a way to save the son of the Israelites. Each family was told to kill a lamb and put some of the blood on, their door. on the top and sides of the doors of their houses. That way, the plague would pass over them. That night, after the terrible plague, Pharaoh finally ordered the Israelites to leave. They packed up so quickly that they didn't have time for their bread to rise, so they packed flat bread. God led them out of Egypt to freedom. God told his people to celebrate the Passover to remember what he had done for them. He said, mm. Always remember this day, you and your children, after you must celebrate this day as a feast to honor the Lord. As God instructed the Israelites, made a habit of celebrating Passover with a meal that included lamb and flat bread, like the bread they'd taken on their journey out of Egypt. Now let's fast forward many, 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 many years to when Jesus was on earth. Jesus himself grew up celebrating the Passover every single year. But when he shared the Passover with his friends the night before he died, Jesus did something different. He changed the Passover meal. 
The Apostle Paul wrote about that evening years later in his letter to the Corinthians. In 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 26, it says, On the night the Lord Jesus was handed over to his enemies, he took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it. He said, This is my body. It is given for you. Every time you eat it, do it in memory of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. He said, This is the cup. It is a new covenant in my blood. Every time you drink it, do it in memory of me. You eat the bread and drink the cup. And when you do this, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. The bread of communion is a reminder of how Jesus died on the cross for our sins. The drink is a reminder of how Jesus allowed his own blood to be spilled so that we could live. The bread of communion, excuse me, remember the Passover feast was a way for God's people to remember how he had rescued them from Egypt when they put the blood of a lamb on their doorways. In a similar way, Jesus was setting up a new celebration for the people who would follow him. He wanted them to see how he had come to be the savior of a whole world. Jesus took an old habit of gratitude, the Passover, and he turned it into a brand new habit of gratitude, the Lord's Supper or communion. Um, as we eat the bread and drink the juice, we remember what Jesus has done for us. We remember that God has made it possible for everyone to be rescued from sin and death because Jesus lived, died, then came alive again. We celebrate communion as a way to share our gratitude for Jesus. We need to find those kind of reminders every single day that will help us remember to be thankful to God and other people. And we need to do this. <clears throat> Get in the habit of being grateful. Jesus and his followers stop to thank God regularly. And we can too. So let's get in the habit of being grateful, even when it's not Thanksgiving. And let's pray to God right now and give him thanks. Dear God, you've done so many wonderful things for us. You sent Jesus to be our savior. Please help us get in the habit of being grateful when we do things like celebrating communion together. And as we live every day with a thankful attitude, help us to get in the habit of being grateful for you. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, so we have the biggest reason ever to be grateful because of all that Jesus has done for us. Jesus gave his life for us. He made it possible for each of us to have a relationship with God that will last forever. That's something we should remember often and be thankful for. For those of us who believe in Jesus and have decided to follow him, communion is, a, is the best way to do that. So communion can help us to get in the habit of being grateful. And that will help us live in a thankful way every single day. It'll help us to remember that we can trust God no matter what. It'll help us to remember to take time to say thank you to God and the people that God has placed in each of our lives. So remember today, our bottom line is get in the habit of being grateful. Can you guys say that? Even though you're muted, say, Get in the habit of being grateful, right? There are other great ways we can do that too. You can make it a habit of talking to God and thanking for him for all the good things in your life. That's called praying, just talking to God. Maybe you talk to God and thank him for you when you eat a meal, like all those things that we yelled out that we were so thankful for. We can pray before we eat our meals, or you can pray and thank him for before you go to sleep at night. What I know a lot of you might pray right before you go to sleep. That's a good time to thank God for everything he's done that day for you. So those are all great ways to get in the habit of being grateful. Maybe your mom or dad like to remind you to say thank you when someone gives you a gift or does something nice for you. Do you know why they do that? They want you to be in the habit of being grateful for the things you have, right? All right, so it's that time that if you have an extra device, we are going to head on over to Kahoot. And you're going to go to Kahoot.it. And I'm going to share that on the screen real quick. Let me get this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
share, play, teach, classic. All right, guys. The pin number is going to, it's trying to, there you go. right up here and press in this number. churches all over the world. Is it communion, Christmas, Easter, or all of the above? For some reason my thing's still loading. Uh-oh. All of the above. I was looking for all of the above. They are, yes, we talked a lot about communion today, but we're Churches all over the world, they do celebrate Christmas and Easter also. So don't worry about uh, that. All right. Oh no, this is bad. Bailey and Molly. Woo! Get it, girl. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm in second. Okay, well, then you could just um, hang in there and figure it out. For some reason, I can't get to my next button. There we are. All right, true or false? Communion is a way for us to remember how thankful we are to Jesus and all that he's done for us. True or false? True. It's a way for us to remember how thankful we are to Jesus and all he has done for us. Yay, you all got that right. Good job, guys. It is, it's a way to remember to be thankful, right? Yes. Ruben moved in the lead yeah. with Bailey and Molly and Maggie. Way to go, guys. All right. Quiz. The night before Jesus died on the cross, he ate with his closest friends at a special dinner called what? Was it the Passover meal? It Was it called Praise God? Was it dinner? Or was it Best of Us for the rest of us? <laughs> <laughs> What was it called, that dinner that Jesus was eating on that special dinner? Yes. Right. It was called the Passover meal. They were celebrating and remembering a special time when Moses went to Pharaoh and said, let my people go, right? All right. We got a little change in the leaderboard here. Keep it up, guys. True or false? The Passover meal was the celebration of Pharaoh letting Moses and their Israelites go from Egypt. True or false? Was the Passover meal a celebration of Pharaoh letting the Moses and the Israelites go from Egypt? Yes. 
Oh, yeah, it was. They were celebrating that Passover. <laughs> All right, so we're moving on. True or false? Passover. It was when the Israelites put blood on the door frames in Egypt so the plague would pass over them. True or false? So they could pass over them. That plague. Yes! You all got that right. Great job, guys. All right. <laughs> Reuben has the highest answer streak. That's... He must have been paying attention, but I know y'all are paying attention. Exodus 12, 14 says, you and your children after you must what this day as the feast to honor the Lord? Was it to think of this day as a feast to honor the Lord? To celebrate this day as a feast to honor the Lord? To keep this day as a feast to honor the Lord? Or honor this day as a feast to honor the Lord? Remember what, what were we talking about? The very first question. Yes. We're celebrating. Remember? We're celebrating yes. what what Jesus did for us. We're celebrating. Okay, we're going to stop. My goodness. We're um we are honoring and keeping, but remember it's a celebration time like Christmas and Easter and all those things. It's another celebration for us as a church to remember what Jesus did on the cross for us. Ooh, got a change in the leaderboard, Rebecca. Yeah. <laughs> she knows. True or false? Jesus changed the Passover meal. True or false? Did Jesus change that Passover meal that night when he was eaten before he died on the cross? He did. He changed it. He really did change it. Because remember, they were they were remembering what Pharaoh did and what Moses did when he went and he let his people go. But now Jesus changed it to be, oh, this is my body and this is my blood. Remember this and celebrate this, right? All right. We got Parker's. The true or false? The bread of communion is a reminder of how Jesus died on the cross for us. True or false? all got that right great job it is a reminder about how jesus died on the cross for us I'm the, lead. Reuben. the drink of communion is a reminder of what that we need to drink something after we eat that jesus turned water into wine that jesus's blood was spilled so we could live that there is no reminder this music is intense this is intense music all right so the drinking communion is a reminder that jesus's blood was spilled right and this um Michelle was right that there are different ways in each church how they, some people use wine and some people use juice. And a lot of people will use juice so that we don't have alcohol to tempt people. So that is um, right that the wine and juice are the same thing. They remind us of how Jesus's blood was spilled because that juice and that wine look like blood, right? So that's what that was about. Here we go. Quiz. Gratitude is what? Adjusting your attitude, saying thank you, letting others know you see how they've helped you, or all the above. You all were right. You all were right. Good job, guys. It was everything. It's what we've learned all month long, that it's adjusting your attitude. It's saying thank you. It's letting others know you see how they've helped you. It's all of them. So if you put any of those, you got it right. All right. Here's our podium. In third place, Rebecca. Second place, Maggie. And first place, who is it? Who is it? Yes! It's Ruben. He actually won on his own. And then our runners up are Bailey and Molly First with the Parker place. Girls. Good job, guys. 
All right, guys. So I'm going to I'll mute you all so we can say our goodbyes. Do any of you guys have any questions from today? Or just want to say hi, bye? Bye. 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 We'll be back here next Sunday, all right? So we can okay. get See you. See you guys. I'm excited for COVID to end. What, Bailey? I'm excited for COVID to end. Me too, girl. Me too. Bye. Everybody is. There we go. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.